This is the Ballon d'Or. It's the most prestigious individual award in football. Throughout football's history, there have only been 46 players worthy of lifting the Ballon d'Or. And so today, I'm going to be creating the most exclusive club of all time, a Ballon d'Or winners only club. That's right, we're going to be building a team with only Ballon d'Or winners. That means no Mbappe, no Haaland, because yep, they've not won a Ballon d'Or yet. But Messi has won the Ballon d'Or not once, not twice, but eight times. Yup, that's right. He recently won the 2023 Ballon d'Or as well. That incredible World Cup performance that he had, lifting the World Cup, it all helped him win yet another Ballon d'Or. And you know what was funny? Messi had speed, Ronaldo's biggest fan in the audience watching him. The poor kid was in tears. Come on now, Ronaldo, man. But yup, that does mean the first player we're adding into this Ballon d'Or winners only club, it's none other than Leo Messi. Since Messi has won the most Ballon d'Ors in history, it's only fair that we make him the captain of this team. I'll tell you one thing though, this team's formation is going to be crazy. Has to be like a 3-5-2 because if you notice most of the Ballon d'Or winners are attacking players. I really don't know how the defense is going to turn out for this team. The next Ballon d'Or winner we're adding into this team is someone who won the Ballon d'Or in the era of Messi and Ronaldo. And that's honestly an achievement. It's the Brazilian Kaká. I think he won his Ballon d'Or while playing for AC Milan and he was just sensational. But guys, the mods have used to put him in the game have made him 41 years old. Bro, he might literally retire as soon as we sign him. Hopefully not. And so we've got the 2008 Ballon d'Or winner Kaka joining the team. Although we've put Kaka into the team, I've just realized that if we're going to play him, Messi's going to have to be pushed out wide because Kaka can only play in that camp position. That's going to make things interesting to see where all these Ballon d'Or winners adjust and which position they actually play in. Because most of them play all in similar positions. We're now moving on to the next player and it's actually actually a goalkeeper. The only goalkeeper to have won a Ballon d'Or. Yo, my guy is 93 years old in career mode. What even? Bro, I think I, I think he's gonna retire as soon as I sign him, bro. That is crazy. But look at that, boys. He's got his iconic cap. Lev Yashin was nicknamed as the Black Spider for all the crazy saves he made. Apparently, he was a penalty-stopping expert. And it's kind of crazy how we've never seen another goalkeeper win the Ballon d'Or. Kind of shows how good Lev Yashin was. And so, Lev Yashin joined Messi and Kaka in the most exclusive Ballon d'Or winners only club. I'm honestly glad we've got a goalkeeper because I'll tell you this, there are barely any defensive players to have won a Ballon d'Or. There are actually two centre-backs to have won a Ballon d'Or. One is Beckenbauer, but sadly he's not on the game. But Fabio Cannavaro is in the game and back in 2006 when Italy won the World Cup, Cannavaro also was rewarded with the Ballon d'Or. It's crazy how since then no defenders won the Ballon d'Or. Virgil van Dijk came close in 2019, but even he finished second. And so Fabio Cannavaro is the next Ballon d'Or winner to join this team. We've already got four players in our Ballon d'Or winners club, and there are still some big players left. Once we build the team, I am going to be putting the Ballon d'Or FC to test by seeing how they do in the Champions League. Surely a team of Ballon d'Or winners should be walking the Champions League, but I guess we'll find out. I told you guys, finding defenders that have won the Ballon d'Or, it's near impossible, but we still need a couple more defenders for this team, and I guess we're going to have to make Ballon d'Or winners make a sacrifice. Rude Hullet won the Ballon d'Or back in 1987, and to this day, he's still one of the most complete football ever. You look at his stats and you'll understand what I'm saying. And so Hullet is the next Ballon d'Or winner we're adding to this team, but he's not going to be happy about the position we're going to play him in. Hullet's going to be playing as a centre-back for us. And look at that, his overall has dropped to an 84. Ah, he's going to have to sacrifice, man. Some of these Ballon d'Or winners are going to have to play for the team. And I also feel bad for our next Ballon d'Or winner, which is Lothar Matthäus. He won the Ballon d'Or back in 1990 for winning the World Cup with Germany. He was an incredible central midfielder. But guess what? Since we don't have too many options at the back, we're going to probably have to play him at centre-back. But you know what? Just like Rude Hullet, his overall stats are incredible. And so we've got Lothar Matthias join the Ballon d'Or FC. I hope he's going to be okay playing at centre-back. You know what? Lothar 
Marius as a center back is still 88 rated. No wonder he's won a Ballon d'Or, man. He can literally play anywhere. Now that we've sorted out our back line, it's time to get some of the attacking Ballon d'Or winners into this team. And we're starting off with a crazy one. Two-time Ballon d'Or winner, R9 Ronaldo. Honestly, if R9 Ronaldo didn't suffer as many injuries as he did, I think he would have five or maybe even six Ballon d'Ors. He was that good. Oh, I just realized he does not have the iconic 2002 haircut that he's got in game. That would have been so much fun. Not having the iconic R9 haircut is a bit of a deal breaker. But hey, since he's won multiple Ballon d'Ors, he's got to be joining at this exclusive club. I just realized that we've already got two Brazilians in the team. R9 Ronaldo and Kaká. But there's also Ronaldinho. He won the Ballon d'Or while playing for Barcelona. And when I think about Ronaldinho, it just makes me smile. What a player. And so Ronaldinho is the next player to join the Ballon d'Or FC. It's finally time to pick some midfielders. And there's Luka Modric who won the Ballon d'Or in 2018 for taking Croatia to a World Cup final and winning the Champions League with Madrid. Welcome to the Ballon d'Or club, Luka Modric. We've almost built this team. We only need two more players. But before we pick them, I would really appreciate if you guys could subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit 1 million subscribers before the end of this year. And if you guys can help me out, that would be amazing. The final midfielder of the team has to be Zinedine Zidane. Arguably the greatest midfielder this sport has ever seen. Of course, he's won the Ballon d'Or World Cup and so much more. And so Zidane's getting a red carpet entry to the Ballon d'Or FC. Now just one player remains to complete our Ballon d'Or team. But you know what? For the Ballon d'Or FC to actually have a chance to win the Champions League, they're going to need a bench. Because even the best players without squad depth won't be able to do much. Come on, they're still human beings. And there you go, guys. We've got a full bench of Ballon d'Or winners. Gerd Muller's in there. This man literally has his own award at the Ballon d'Or ceremony. Of course, we had to fit him in. Rivaldo's won the Ballon d'Or as well. Benzema won it in 2022. Johan Cruyff is a three-time Ballon d'Or winner. I think I should put him in the starting 11, but we'll keep him here for now. We've got Georgie Best as well. Van Basten as well as a three-time Ballon d'Or winner. And finally, Sir Bobby Charlton. I tried finding defenders all right for our bench, but I literally couldn't find a single one, nor could I find more midfielders. I don't know how this team's gonna manage to defend. I guess the plan is to just attack. But it's now time to complete the Ballon d'Or FC team by picking our striker. And I think everybody knows who the final player of this team's gonna be. You guys would go crazy if I didn't include Cristiano Ronaldo, a five-time Ballon d'Or winner. Of course, he's gonna get the entry to this Ballon d'Or exclusive club. And finally, the squad is complete. Every player on this team is a Ballon d'Or winner. And although this team is gonna have some defensive issues, it's time to see if the greatest players of all time can come together and win the Champions League. Before we kick this off, guys, I kind of realized it's unfair on Ronaldo and Leo Messi to not have ratings like when they were in their prime. So there you go. We've basically given both Messi and Ronaldo their icon stats. Okay, this might be controversial, but I've given Messi 95 overall and Ronaldo 94. I think it's only fair because Messi's won more Ballon d'Ors, and this video is about Ballon d'Ors. Oh, wait, you guys are going to be fuming if I don't tell you why Pele and Maradona are not in this team? Well, back when they were playing, South Americans were not allowed to win the Ballon d'Or. How stupid was that? Bro, if they still had the same rules, Messi would have zero Ballon d'Ors. There we go, the first Champions League game for the Ballon d'Or FC. If they don't win 5-0, there's something wrong with this game. What? How on earth did they lose 2-0? Bruh, literally, the best team football can offer, they lost. Guys, I don't think this team can function on the football pitch. There's just not enough defensive players. Maybe that's why. Okay, but they do manage to beat AC Milan. And look at that, both Ronaldo scored. Okay, I think that first defeat humbled the Ballon d'Or winners, because now they've managed to top their group. Bro, look at the ages of our players, man. Lev Yashin, 94. Gerd Müller, 78. Georgi Pes, 77. Bro, this is wild, and these guys are about to win a Champions League. And looks like the Ballon d'Or winners are not stopping her. They've knocked out Leverkusen in the round of 16. Real Madrid has been knocked out as well. Even Barcelona couldn't stop them. And now the Ballon d'Or winners are up against Bayern Munich in the final. Bro, this is crazy. They've won the Premier League as well. FA Cup too. Carabao Cup as well. Why am I surprised? This is literally a team of the greatest players ever. And look at that. It was Cristiano Ronaldo among all the Ballon d'Or winners who stepped up big time. 47 goals. R9 Ronaldo came through with 38 as well. Sir Bobby Charlton, 20 goals. Fair play. Dino as well delivered. Oh, Messi, that's a bit stinky. Should have done a bit better. Here we go, guys. One final game 
with the Ballon d'Or winners. Let's win this. Oh, man. We've got Zizou. Look at him move. Lovely pass for Kaka. Who's going to spray this one for Leo Messi. This is crazy. Messi now. Inside. Oh, he almost scored. Oh, we've got Ronaldinho as well. Trying the skills and it's working. Oh, lovely pass for Ronaldo. On the volley. Neuer again with the save. Both Messi and Ronaldo having chances. Bro, we're not letting Bayern breathe, man. This is relentless. What a team this is. Look at Messi go. Prime Messi looking for a cross. Ronaldo with the header. Oh, Messi and Ronaldo linking up. That might be the most iconic goal in football. Yo. Nah, this could get really ugly for Bayern. Look at R9 Ronaldo go. There's no stopping him. He's got so much power. The finish as well. It's job done. Zinedine Zidane right now looking for a ball for Messi. Messi scoring a header, bro. This is ridiculous. Bayern Munich just rage quit. Get out of here. It's over. Of course, the Ballon d'Or winners are lifting the Champions League and they didn't even break a sweat while doing it. But there's still one more thing left. Among all these Ballon d'Or winners, I want to see who actually wins the Ballon d'Or if they were all in contention for it. Well, we'll call this the Super Ballon d'Or. The nominees are out for the Super Ballon d'Or and it's Ronaldo, the Brazilian Ronaldo, Messi and Ronaldinho. I'm very curious. Oh, wow. It's Cristiano Ronaldo who ends up winning it. Fair enough. Ooh, Messi fans like myself are not going to be happy about this, but fair play. Does that make Cristiano Ronaldo the GOAT? Well, if you enjoyed this video, why not watch me build the best under-18 team in FC24? Click here to watch that.